Fame versus Relationship. Welcome to CBO Recap. Today, we will explain Girl From Nowhere Season 1, Episode 5, Social Love. Buckle up, spoilers ahead. In the beginning of the episode, a school orientation event took a place. A young man was playing the drums while Nano suddenly appeared in dance in the center, accidentally hitting Han. Nano engaged in a conversation with Han and expressed her gratitude towards him. Unfortunately, their interaction was captured on video, leading to a request for them to take a picture together. Curious students inquired about Nano's name and began shipping her with Han affectionately calling them Hano. As the camera rolled, they were asked to wave, and this unexpected couple gained popularity, with everyone appreciating their relationship. While Yui was practicing with her band, she stumbled upon a Facebook page dedicated to Han and Nano. Interviewed, she messaged Han, who read her text, observing Han smile while he glanced at his phone. Everyone questioned if he was chatting with Nano. Meanwhile, Yui anxiously waited for Han at her designated meeting spot. Finally, Han arrived and rested his head on Yui's lap. He apologized to her and revealed that it was Jer's idea to capitalize on his newfound fame. Yui assured Han that he was already popular enough. He promised to talk to Jer, urging him to pursue a different story instead of focusing on Han and Nano. Han opened up to Yui, expressing that his connection with Nano was merely a product of imagination and that Yui was his true soulmate the one he truly loved. Just then, Han received a message from Jer, informing him of Nano's sudden disappearance. The entire group joined forces to locate Nano, who happened to be trapped inside one of the cubicles in the school's restroom. They could hear her pleas for assistance. Han took the initiative and attempted to open the door by kicking it. He successfully freed Nano from the confinement and gently tried to wake her, leading to an embrace between them. Meanwhile, Yui observed their interaction. The onlookers, filled with excitement, encouraged Han and Nano to finally become a couple. However, Han intervened and informed them that Nano might already be involved with someone else. To everyone's surprise, Nano disclosed that she was currently single. She then turned to Han and inquired about his relationship status. Han responded by admitting that he too did not have a girlfriend at the moment. Just as everyone was playful teasing Nano and her imaginary pairing with Han, she abruptly decided to leave, feeling somewhat disheartened. However, Han intervened, stopping her and her tracks and surprising everyone by asking her to be his girlfriend. This unexpected turn of events filled the room with giggles from the onlookers. Nano agreed to his proposal but put forth a condition. Han must never abandon her. Meanwhile, Yui, who had been silently observing the exchange, felt a pang of hurt. Amidst the cheers for the newly formed couple, Anno, their Facebook page got garnered an influx of likes. People enthusiastically shared their opinions about Han and Nano, expressing their happiness for the pair. Fans even began creating and selling merchandise dedicated to the duo. In the midst of it all, Yui texted Han, seeking an explanation. Han admitted that his actions were driven by the desire for online popularity. However, Yui reminded him about their scheduled date and she was already waiting for him as Han prepared to leave and meet Yui. Jer and Nano unexpectedly enter his room. Nano shared that she had a nightmare and admitted that she wanted to watch Han sleep, leading her to visit his room. The following day, Han and Nano enjoyed lunch together, with Nano having prepared a special lunchbox for Han in front of everyone. Nano even fed Han, further fueling the increasing number of likes on their Facebook page. Later, Nano danced with Han, captivating the audience. 
everyone delighted in witnessing the blossoming relationship between Hun and Nano, while Yui, unable to intervene, could only watch from the sidelines. Feeling overwhelmed, Yui decided to leave the gathering and retreated to her room. Hun followed her, concerned about her well-being and inquired about her distress. Yui expressed her frustration with the situation, blaming everything that had transpired. Hun tried to console her, emphasizing that it was all a part of a show. He assured Yui that he would end his relationship with Nana within two days, promising to keep his words to her. In a moment of intensity, Yui requested a kiss as a seal of his promise. Just as they were about to kiss, everyone entered the room and discovered them in that intimate moment. Nano put on a show, pretending to be hurt and shedding tears as she walked away from the scene. Jer advised Han to go after Nano. Recognizing her genuine emotions, Han followed her and found Nano crying. She mustered the courage to ask Han if he and Yui were truly in love with each other. Han decided to be honest and confessed that he was indeed in a relationship with Yui. He explained that his intention was to bring happiness to everyone, which is why he did Nano. However, to his surprise, Nano burst into laughter, catching Han off guard. Nano revealed that she had been aware since the beginning of the school year that something was going on between Han and Yui. She understood Han's desire for fame and his attempt to please everyone, so she played along. Han nodded, understanding her perspective, and suggested they end their relationship. Seizing the opportunity, Nano threatened to tell everyone that Han had broken her heart and that Yui had ruined their relationship. She asserted that regardless of how she portrayed the story, Han's popularity would decline. Nano pointed out of those who shipped them would be leave her more due to the evidence she possessed. All she needed to do was act convincingly and gain people's sympathy. After this conversation, Han walked away from the room, contemplating the situation. Following the incident in the room, everyone began to bully Yui due to the perceived relationship between her and Han. The online harassment intensified, with hurtful comments and attacks directed at her. Meanwhile, the Facebook page dedicated to Han and Nano continued to accumulate likes. Yui confided in Han about the bullying she was facing. He admitted that he too was in a difficult position due to Nano's manipulations. In the midst of these events, Nano was engrossed in playing basketball when someone approached her and engaged in a game. Yui paid this person and captured photos of the encounter, intending to expose Nano's actions. However, Nano's fans discovered Yui's actions and began recording her in response. The situation escalated further, causing tension to rise. The following day, everyone wearing Han and Nano masks and stared at Yui. Yui could no longer bear it and climbed on the top of the table to confront them. She questioned their sanity and issued a warning, but instead of heeding her words, the crowd began pelting her with objects while chanting Hanno. Unable to withstand the assaults, Yui sought refuge in the restroom to clean herself up and Han followed her. Inside, Yui requested Nano's cell phone number, hatching a plan of her own. However, her plan backfired when Nano fans trapped her and subjected her to physical harm. Desperate in pain, Yui called out for Han's help. Later that night, Han tended tenderly cleaning the wounds on Yui's face as he cared for her. A thought crossed Han's mind. If Nano were to die, he could find sorrow and regain his freedom. Driven by this idea, Han composed a letter to Nano, requesting a meeting with her on the rooftop. Yui anxiously awaited Nano's arrival on the rooftop, consumed by her emotions as Nano stepped into the rooftop. Yui impulsively struck her on the head. Filled with the rage and desperation, Yui contemplated pushing Nano off the edge. However, before she could act, an unexpected turn of events occurred. Nano accidentally fell on the rooftop, causing everyone to witness her injuries and blooded state. Hans, seemingly unaware of what had transpired, rushed to Nano's side and urgently instructed everyone to call an ambulance. Yui stood in shock, grappling 
with the magnitude of the situation. Meanwhile, the onlookers focused their attention on comforting Hun, sympathizing with him over the unfortunate incident involving Nano. In her room, Yui found herself hunted by the disturbing events that unfolded on the rooftop, the image replaying relentlessly in her mind. Nana, with a sinister smile on her face, mocked Yui and deliberately threw herself off the rooftop. She expressed gratitude to Yui, believing that her action had ensured that Nano and Han would be together forever. In the midst of this chaos, Han arrived at Yui's room and informed her that she had succeeded. However, Yui denied any involvement, her anxiety evident. Despite Yui's protest, Han overlooked her distress and simply expressed his happiness. Yui reminded him to stick to the plan and put on a sad expression. When he received a text message, Han returned to the hospital, where the doctor delivered the news that Nano survived the fall but would remain a vegetative state for the rest of her life. The doctor explained that Nano would require constant care and asked if Han, as her boyfriend, would be willing to fulfill that rule and stay with her indefinitely. Encouraged by the voices around him, Han felt compelled to accept the responsibility, committing to support Nano. The episode concluded with the resounding chants of Hanno for everyone present. In an unexpected twist, Nano expressed gratitude to Yui for enabling her to be with Han forever. My opinion, the desire for popularity is a common aspiration, and the allure of fame can be captivating. Han, driven by this desire, readily seizes the opportunity even if he remains unaware of the consequences. Losing the person he loves and being bound to someone for a lifetime. It serves us as a reminder that while we strive for success, we must also ensure that we remain on the right path. Making sound and ethical decisions that align with our true desire and future aspirations. It is crucial to set higher standards for ourselves, but we must be mindful of the choices we make and their potential impact on our lives. A single misstep or an ill-advised decision can have severe repercussions, potentially derailing our future prospects. It is essential to avoid using others as a mere means to achieve our dreams while neglecting our responsibility to do what is morally right. Ultimately, the message lies in understanding the importance of personal integrity and ethical conduct. Success should not come at those costs sacrificing our values and exploiting others. By making choices and remaining true to our principles, we can navigate the path to success while preserving our own well-being and the well-being of those around us. If you like my explanation and recap, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.